overhead squat. So we got a PVC pipe. We have an extra port part of a floor, like gym flooring. It's kind of hard to see here. And that's gonna give me about a three quarter inch heel lift. And then for me right now, I have pretty flat minimalist type shoes on. But if we're working with like an Olympic athlete, then we are going, or Olympic um, lifting athlete, then we're gonna put you in your heel or your weightlifting shoes. Um, and some of you will even put this in a little bit more of a further heel lift. So if you have Olympic shoes and a heel lift, we do that sometimes with like an extra piece of gym flooring like that. And the idea being is a lot of times when we're doing PVC style overhead squats versus barbell is we're rehabbing someone back from an injury. So when we elevate our heels, it allows our torso to stay more vertical, our shoulders to stay more stacked. And we do this with a bunch of different people. So someone's coming off of a shoulder injury. If I have a shoulder injury and it's really hard for me to get into extension because what has to happen with an overhead squat, if I elevate my heels, that's gonna allow me to keep my torso more vertical. It's gonna take less stress off my shoulder. If I'm someone that's dealing with a back injury, same thing. The more thoracic extension required, the more I'm gonna feel that in my back. So if I elevate my heels, it takes away the demand on the thoracic spine, and then also into the hip joint. So if we're trying to take away some hip flexion, we can elevate our heels, keep our torso more vertical, and that's gonna take away that hip flexion load. So what, how we set up, is your setup's gonna be a little bit different for everybody. So uh, kind of play with your stance. It's gonna depend on, um, again, a lot of different anatomical type variations, your hip anatomy, your ankle range of motion, your strength, that type of stuff. But for me, I like to be set up with my hips or my feet about hip width apart, toes turned out. And then when I get set up, I wanna have a slight forward lean and that slight forward lean allows me to put pressure under my big toe and then from there, I'll just bend my knees and my hips will follow. So it allows me to kind of sync up my movement pattern. Then with the overhead squat position. So I'm more in like a wide grip, more stable that way. It's typically what we do with a bar anyways. We don't want to be here trying to do an overhead squat. So snatch grip position on the bar. And then what I'm doing is I'm trying to keep my, my hands stacked directly above my shoulders. So if you're watching from the side there, if I squat, I'm trying to keep my hands stacked directly above my shoulders so I'm not coming forward, I'm not getting way behind me, any type of variation like that. And that just allows the load to be loaded vertically and help minimize that front to back sway that you'll see when someone gets out of balance. So again, for me, my, my heels are right under my hips, toes turned out. I'm gonna bring my PVC pipe over my head here. I'm gonna have a slight forward lean because so I'm putting pressure on my big toe. I'm gonna have a deep breath in and I try to keep my hips kind of tucked under me so I don't immediately start overarching my low back. So I kind of do that pelvic tilt, tuck my hips under me, and then I'm gonna bend my knees and my hips are gonna follow. And I'm trying to come all the way down to this bottom position, keeping my hands stacked above my shoulders and drive back out of that without losing my spine position. So a lot of times we'll see people that don't have good upper back mobility, or maybe they don't have good shoulder motion, they will, really, really arch that low back in order to get to depth. So you are the people that we're working with that we're trying to get rid of that. So use a mirror if you have to, videotape yourself with a cell phone if you have to, but the idea is, is we're keeping that PVC pipe stacked overhead and then we're gonna go through that progression. If you need a higher heel lift to do so, you can put you know 10 pound change, but you can put a 45, you can put it your, on your Olympic shoes, be, be, be playful with that and then load. PVC pipe weighs next to nothing. That's why we're starting with the PVC pipe. I don't have to go to a full depth position. I can start high, do a quarter squat, half squat, three quarter squat, full squat, right? It all depends on the quality of the motion. And then when adding load, I can simply take a change plate and slide the change plate on the PVC pipe. Then I can have a 10 pound bar. Then I can put a, you know, to a 10 and a five and have a 15 pound bar. It's just much easier to progress it over a period of time versus trying to go to, you know, like a training bar, and jumping up from there. I get you could do that technically, most people don't have access to that, but PVC pipe, real simple, okay? So quick, quick reminders, nice tall posture, hands stacked vertically above the shoulders, chin tucked. I'm gonna have a slight forward pressure or forward lean in my torso to keep my toes pressed into the ground. So that way when I go to squat, it helps improve the efficiency of the descent so I'm not swaying front to back. 
Make sure that you're breathing and bracing and, um, and being very mindful of that low back positioning that you're not compensating through your low back.